Do you know the best activity tracker you can buy for $60? That's the MS Fit Beep. Coming up. So Banggood.com approached me and asked if I want to review the MS Fit Pace because I've been anyway using the Xiaomi Huami series MS Fit and now this is MS Fit Beep and I was like hmm eh, sounds like a good uh, idea send me one and I got the MS Fit Beep and been using it for almost one month and this is my verdict and I will let you in the description below how you can buy it for $60 or even less but as always as I told them as well this is my dead honest review no biasness whatsoever dead honest spec wise this is not the best smartwatch but it it worth to take a look first the screen it's 1.28 inches screen but it's a trans reflective screen with 176 pixels by 176 pixels that means it can reflect the light from the outer sources and give it back meaning that it doesn't need a backlight to show the content which is as the same as the MS Fit Pace. It has 2.5D Gorilla Glass 3. Still, it's not that re scratch resistant. We'll get back to that in, in a while. It has a full polycarbonate body, which is only 18 grams. 18 grams. And 32 grams with the straps. It also comes with interchangeable straps that you can simply change with whatever the straps you like. One of the best things standing out from the MS Fit Pace is that it has IP68 watt resistance. I mean, you know how much trouble that I've had to face because I thought that my MS Fit was dead uh, because it I had, had some water damage. But this guy has the IP68 watt resistance. That means you can give, go up to 1.5 meters up to 30 minutes. Shouldn't do any problem, but it's not advised to go uh, in swimming the best thing about this is also the battery life it has 200 milliamp hour battery which can last up to 45 days according to the specs but in the real life it's not much but not disappointing this has a ppg heart rate monitor in the back accelerometer barometer and also gps which means it has all the required sensors to complete an activity tracker it uses bluetooth 4.0 for connectivity which is not the best one but still it's um, not the worst specific location wise it doesn't look like a promising smartwatch or an activity tracker but these are the top three features that I really like about this smartwatch the first thing I really liked about this watch is the battery life it has only 200 milliamp hour battery which is very less compared to other smartwatches but trust me in my daily usage I could last up to three and a half weeks without any trouble. I mean, I had to waste the battery life for reconfiguring, resetting, uh, trying to give uh, more fonts and emoji connection, which I will explain later. But in a normal usage, it, it should last up to 30 days. I'm not quite sure if it lasts up to 45 days as the specification or the Xiaomi says. But for me, it lasted around three and a half weeks. And I believe for you, it will also last same more or less the same but it also depends on the watch face that you're using for me i'm using this watch face which has most of the information that i really need the stop watch face only has the time the step count and i think also the heart rate which can save you a lot of battery for me i also need to know the weather and some other more information so i went with this watch face which can consume more battery the second thing I really liked about this watch is the screen. I mean, even the Misfit Pace had the trans reflective screen and also the Misfit Beep has the same screen, which means it doesn't need a backlight for you to see the content of the screen. So you get the light from the outside and reflects that in a way that you can see the contents without any problem. I mean, it's not AMOLED, which also can help to reduce the battery usage a lot. But this is LCD, but still, because it's trans reflective, it doesn't need even to light up the screen. So it can save you a lot of battery as well. At night, if there is no other light source, then yes, you need to click this, this button. The third thing I liked about this watch is the design. 
and the build. Many people don't talk about when it comes to smartwatches, the design or the build or even the weight because they are so focused on these features like the smart features, the calling, replying, the colorful screens and whatnot. But it's also important for you to think about how the watch would feel and how would it look because this watch, the Watch Pro is so bulky and it has a metal back and it, it hurt me to wear for around eight hours and I have to get rid of it. And especially if you want to do sleep tracking and active tracking, it should be minimalistic. I mean, then you shouldn't feel that you are wearing a watch, especially when you are sleeping, if you are turning around and then it will hurt your wrist. But this guy, it's so lightweight, so small that you wouldn't even feel that you are wearing it. And that's one of the most important thing that I would also look when I'm buying a smartwatch. Yes, it will look fancy if you go for a big vendors and it will have a lot of features. But what's the point if you can't wear it for so long and you have to get rid of it after wearing eight or 10 hours? So for me, I really like the design, especially the weight and the straps. It's super good and you wouldn't even feel that you are wearing it. Of course, it has many other features such as sleep tracking, activity tracking, get notification from your phone and whatnot. I will put a complete list of features in the description below but the, those were the top three features that i could find in this watch compared to other smartwatches unfortunately that's only the three that i could find so these are the top worst or bad features or things that i didn't like number one it has only i don't know four versions of activities like you can do running you can do walking you can do treadmill and you can do cycling that's it at least in the watch i mean in when you go to the activities in the watch these are the only thing that you can select if you want more activities you have to go to the phone you go to the app either google fit or the my fit app or even the misfit app and you have to select when when you do an activity that means other than those four activities you need the phone if you need to track other activities such as badminton could be football tennis i don't know what not but that's a very big uh, downfall of this watch but i think they will add more activities in the future because this is a soft app feature right the second thing that i didn't really like about this watch is the notification yes you can get notification from the phone to the watch but the problem is it does not support emojis it does not support unicode icons for me i can't see the sinhalese letters and also it only has a limited set of icons for the applications but there is an application called ms fit beep alert bridge which i really like and it can convert these emojis into the text or the ascii format as in the prehistoric age when you're using nokia 1100 this kind of a messaging but still the icon yes you can't really have it you can only select one icon from the given 10 icons which is burned into the firmware that means you have to do a firmware upgrade and they don't have a firmware upgrade then you have to do a custom mod which is uh, not really ideal for normal non-tech people and it even can brick your watch probably they will add it using a firmware upgrade um, soon but for now no the third most annoying thing in this watch is you can turn off this turn on the screen by pressing the button but pressing the button again won't switch it off why i have to wait around eight seconds until it turns off for example if i accidentally press it and i need to turn it off it doesn't work so i don't know xiaomi you should fix it it's so bad i think it's a normal firmware problem it's just a software issue but i tried the uh, many other applications which supposed to fix this problem such as the notifications for a miss bit there's an application called that but it's still it doesn't fit why just press it just turn it off that's it all these issues i mentioned can be fixed through firmware upgrades for example you can have multiple activities and i think i saw in a forum xiaomi saying that they are working on adding more features and more activities to this watch which is good so that means you will get more application icons better notifications and you can do whatever you want with this uh, one button that you have in the watch but this is the worst thing 
the fourth and the most I don't know hated feature of this watch is the the durability which is bad this doesn't feel as rigid as a Mesfit Pace or any other smart watches you know this this uh, Mesfit Pace I can do this but I'm really afraid to do that the screen is not as scratch resistant as the Mesfit Pace because I've been using this for more than two years and it doesn't have any scratch or at least as I can see there is no scratch but in the Mesfit Bib I've been using it for only one month and it already has some scratch marks which is not that visible when you're wearing it but when you look closely you can see the scratch marks yeah I mean I, I will use it and because it's sixty dollars what you can expect at least it's better than many other smartwatches so who is this for if you need a smartwatch with like smart features responding your calls replying to your messages have google assistant in your watch no you're in the wrong place but if you value battery life more than anything else and this is a good even a normal watch if you are new to the smartwatch and active tracking territory I think this will be a good candidate for you to start because it has a better battery life and also a screen that means you can wear it as a normal watch and you can track a lot of activities yes there are some limitations but hopefully they will upgrade uh, the firmware and let you have more activities and you can also start it from the, the phone itself so there is no such a you can't do kind of a situation and the battery life wise you can go for up to 30 days of battery life without even um, thinking about charging if you do a lot of activities probably it can go down to I don't know maybe two weeks but that's the worst that you can get so if you want to go into this active tracking whole smartwatch experience this will be a better option rather than many active trackers so maybe it's the active tracker for you so those are the best and the worst features in the first features I don't know worst things about the MS fit bib what do you think do you already have MS with Pip? And let me know in the comment section below what are the features that you like and the things that you don't like. And make sure that you click the link in the description below and use my coupon code to get this for $60 and maybe even less. And it's a limited offer. Make sure that you grab the deal. And also go to bankroom.com and they are celebrating the 13th anniversary this year and you will have tons of crazy discounts. That's it. If you don't like the video, you already know what to do. If you like it, make sure that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already not. And hit the bell notification for all the updates of my channel. Talk to you guys in the next one.